Hey, Coach Nate here from The Run Experience. Going into the big question, should marathon runners lift weights part two? We're gonna dig into some of those follow-up questions we get all the time, like, should I only do runner-specific strength exercises? Uh, should I lift heavy or should I only lift lightweight? Uh, should I lift before or after my run and more? We're gonna get into all those questions. I'm gonna give you some great guidance, point you in the right direction. So by the time you finish watching this, you will have a plan. Let's dig in. Just a quick note before we dig into today, this is a part two video. We already have a part one. You should be able to uh, click this link in this video to go watch the bigger picture reason of the arguments before and against strength training for runners. If you are on the four side, well, keep watching, or if you don't mind skipping the part one, keep watching, and we will get into our first question. Now, our first question is going to be, do I need to do runner-specific strength training, and really what does runner-specific strength training even mean? Well, guys, yes and no. Here's the drill, and this is the way that I like to think about it. From a strength training perspective, right, I've got my barbell here, I'm gonna show you and demonstrate some different movements. Um, we have to understand that we are purposely stepping away from the world of specificity, all the running that we do, to build ourselves up better in a more general athletic way. And I also have to understand and remember that as a human being, I have the same shoulders, elbows, wrists, hips, knees, and ankles as any other human being out there. So whether or not I am a ski racer, a tennis, uh, uh, a tennis player, I was gonna say badminton for a second, I had badminton in my head, as you know, that luge, it doesn't matter, right? We all have the same thing. Uh, think same things going on and we need to respect our bodies and build those up. So there's no such thing as say a runner specific squat or a runner specific shoulder press. The, the differences will come later, we'll talk about that in a little bit. Some of my favorite lifts guys that I like to have my runners focus on other than just say like a basic air squat, um, push up, uh, lunges and burpees which we've done a lot of are things like a deadlift and a shoulder press. Now we have breakdowns of deadlifts in the videos, but showing you just real quick, you know, getting myself on this bar, loading myself up. I'm really having to prioritize the spine, a lot of stabilization here. So all barbell stuff, guys, is so good for being strong and stable through that spine, developing that core strength. This also really loads up my hips, my hamstrings, my calves. I get a lot of strength back here. It gets us out of being forward in our quads. We get a lot of benefit from that. So not only deadlift is great, but working on things like an overhead shoulder press, real, again, really having to stabilize from the trunk like crazy as I press up overhead. The other thing about this, you may lose the barbell, but you're gonna see that I need this overhead range of motion. It's so important as a runner to develop more than just this little rinky-dink arm swing. So we're starting to develop this. I could take this into, say, a front squat getting my elbows up nice and high, learning how to squat down, getting this depth all the way in the bottom. Again, whew, getting out of breath for a second. Same hips, knees, and ankles as everyone else. Do I have this range of motion? Do I have this strength, this stability, this balance to be able to do this? And then I could even take this say into say a forward lunge, dropping down, coming back up tall, dropping down, coming back up tall. I don't have to do this with a barbell. I could do this with a pair of dumbbells, a kettlebell. I could do this just body weight. The important thing is that I'm doing it. Now once I've mastered the basics of all my you know, major two-legged movements, my squats, my deadlifts, my overhead presses, things like that, I can start to get a little fancier with more single leg movement. And we start to stress single leg movement, I would argue that again, uh, a lunge for a ski racer is gonna be the same lunge for a soccer player or a runner. This starts to get into areas that are more specifically beneficial for running because it starts to challenge our balance and stability that more, which are skill sets that we need for the running itself. So notice that I've, I've gotten rid of the barbell. I'm just showing you how to like, do things just with a plate. This could be a pair of dumbbells, a kettlebell. It could just be my body weight. And I've got this box here. So not only could I do lunges, for example, but I could work on some step ups. So one of my favorite things, I could hold this plate right here, really step up tall. You may miss my head, but that's all right. Driving myself back. And again, learning how to do this in a way where I'm really loading up my hip, 
pushing those hips up first, coming down, being smooth all the way through. I could even take this into a split squat where this rear foot's gonna be elevated. I'm looking at Morgan, my camera woman, to see if I'm still in frame, hopefully I am. Dropping down, coming back up tall, working on these are some of my favorites. And another go-to favorite one would be something like a single leg deadlift where I'm gonna to have to balance and stabilize on one leg. This plate could be out in front and I'm gonna work on hinging over at the hip, keeping everything level, coming back up tall, over, back up tall. Again, guys, we have full breakdowns of all these movements. I'm showing you a quick, you know, little piece of things, but I can start to get more runner specific by biasing some of these movements, but they're built upon my understanding of those bigger picture movements themselves. Let's get into that next question. Now, one of our next big questions we get from runners is, should I lift heavy? And I wanna tackle this from a few different angles. The, the answer for me is a resounding yes, and there's a few benefits to this. Uh, number one, when I really care about developing my skill set and my movement patterns, I need something that is gonna get me out of my old movement patterns. And if I stay something that's too light all the time when I'm, say, deadlifting, for example, I can do this, but I actually don't get that much kinesthetic feedback. I don't get a lot of sense of where my body's in space, my knees could be going forward, my back could be a little rounded. I couldn't really tell. In other words, I might be perpetuating the problems that got me in trouble in the first place, but I'm just doing it at such a light weight. The other thing that we start to see from a performance standpoint is that when I start to add a little weight on, not only am I paying greater attention, but I'm all of a sudden having to deal with that load and that stimulus, and that is a very positive anabolic response in the body. We do a lot of things that are hormonally catabolic, they break us down, that tired feeling you have after that long run. So doing short, snappy, anabolic things is a great way to get us back. Of course, the lifting and technique has to be there, but for example, when I just lift this, I'm like, hey, okay, there's a little bit more weight here. I'm noticing I have to be a little bit more engaged with my shoulders, I'm tight, but let's play a game. Let's see what happens. So I had another set of weight on here, and then I'm like, okay, now, I got a little bit more, I gotta be a little bit more thoughtful and present with what I'm doing. I set myself up, I set my shoulders up, and I'm like, oh, okay. This is uh, making everything engage a little bit more. All of a sudden I'm feeling my hamstrings and glutes engage a little bit more because they have to. The brain is like, oh shit, we have to recruit everything, which is really what we're going for from a running standpoint. And finally, when I go up for that bigger set of weight up to here, now, I'm really not thinking about that email that I have to write later to my boss. I'm fully present in the moment because I'm like, oh shit. So something that makes me feel just a little bit scared and nervous is good. But notice, I set myself up, load up my shoulders, everything's good. Whoa, okay, now I can't talk as much. But, whew, I'm getting that crazy amount of stability which we're going for. So yes, lifting heavier is a good thing. I wanna do it smart, I wanna build that good technique, I wanna have that all in there. A good reference here, guys, three to five sets of three to five reps is really good range. If you're, you're newer, you can kind of build up a little bit more, four to eight reps with slightly lower percentages, but that's a good place to target. Stay tuned for part three, guys. We got more, that is correct. We are gonna dig into what your strength session should look like. We're gonna break down all the bits and pieces, and we're also gonna address the really important questions of what days of the week you should lift, and should you lift before and after your runs. Hey, remember, we don't just put out videos on YouTube for you. We are coaches, and we have some great programs that will lead you up to your races and really take you to that next level. We even have a seven-day free trial just for you. All you need to do to get it is click the link down below and you'll get all the information you need to even, for example, try our running strength program to, for, to dig in. Of course, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up. That lets us know uh, whether or not we should make more videos like this. If you have any comments on what we talked about today, 
questions we didn't hit up correctly or, or requests. We love requests for future videos. Drop those down there below too. Subscribe to our channel, guys. We get new videos each and every week on running, strength training, injury prevention, run workouts, race specific advice, nutrition. We got it all just for you. Make sure you hit that little notification bell so that you get those videos when they come out. Guys, I'm gonna keep filming, so I'll see you in the next one.